Welcome back, I'm Nicole BW, and this is Sky Factory 3. And we now have all of the chickens done. I am hatching the last two. Yay! Uh, they, I ended up with two eggs of each, so I'm all good there. As soon as they hatch, I'll put them back in there. The, they are all done. I've got every single chicken. I didn't think I was going to do it, but I got it done. I also went ahead and built a very simple uh, mob farm. If we fly over here, slowly apparently. Um, I made it out of the reinforced stones. And uh, I have this thing that is so cool. So the mobs fall down and I have the vector plates there pushing it into that. So if we take a look at the mob grinding uh, utilities mod, it's this mob masher. Uh, so it's kind of iron intensive, calls for a lot of iron. You got an iron block there, a couple iron swords, and then these iron spikes, which is also iron blocks and iron swords. Uh, so it's kind of expensive, but you can add on like you can add beheading on with a max of 10 of these in there and these are cheap these are fairly cheap uh you can do bane of arthropods smite fire aspect which i don't recommend uh looting sharpness and you can add on multiples of those now in order to get it to work you need to give it a redstone signal so i just have a lever underneath turning it on. I also have, as you can see there, one of those little item collectors on the back of an ender chest. These little guys right there. Uh, you don't need anything big or massive. Um, and up above, we can peek our head in. Let's see, do I have? I have magnet mode on. Okay. Uh, we can peek our head in. It's just a bunch of vector plates all pointing towards the center. Ah! You got to be careful. If you land on it, it will uh, pull you in. It's it's only three blocks tall. Uh, we do get Endermen. I would like to eventually, this will be beneficial, uh, if we go into the Ender.io staff and get one of these inhibitor obelisks. I want to uh, get one of these that will keep the Endermen from teleporting uh, out of there uh, because they're getting damaged. <laughs> Tom just freaked out and kicked the door. Nice. I don't know what her problem is. Wow, that kind of scared me a little. Okay, so what I thought we would do today, because it is my birthday, I'll have you know, we're going to do something fun. And I don't know what the mod is called actually um okay is it not called that is it just a huh it is uh it's cooking for blockheads that's right uh so i thought we would do uh set up a kitchen yeah so i thought we would set up a kitchen and do the cow in a jar and i could show you guys how to do that something fun uh, so we are going to want a fridge. So let's make some iron doors and we will grab two of those because they're like, uh, where do we want to put the fridge? Do we want to put it over here? We can put it in the corner. Uh, but the door, oh, it takes forever to break. Okay. Well, maybe we'll put it over here then because of the door. Uh, you can see inside, that's so cool. It's so cool. Uh, <laughs> I love this spot, it's so much fun. Okay, so then we are going to need, let's see, what should we put next to the fridge? Let's put a kitchen counter. We are going to need black hardened clay. Do we have any hardened clay? We sure do not. Uh, do we have clay at all? Clay. We have clay balls. Okay, so, hello, uh, we need eight of these. We're gonna have to cook these. We will just shove them in there right now. Um, 
yeah, because we're going to need, we're also going to need, uh, I think we're going to need black stained glass as well. Yes. So the oven, do we have, we don't have a furnace already made, not a problem. Go ahead and make that. So we got our oven, our, we're going to have to, well, we can make this. Uh, let's see. We need a book. We need to cook a book. We have a book. Awesome. Uh, well, that's doing his thing. Let's not let's turn hover mode off i don't know why it's still on stop bouncing jeez um let's do that really quick all right awesome la 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 uh okay so we have a cooked book a cookbook <laughs> uh Okay, oh, we need, we are going to need a couple crafting tables. There we go. Uh, okay, we need the black stained glass now. Or, I'm sorry, black uh, stained clay. Sheesh. Okay, so we've got... The cooking table, we've got the oven, we've got the refrigerator. Let's make a sink. I thought maybe we would have a bucket of water. Apparently not. And there is a sink. We are going to want, okay, some kitchen counters. We're going to want at least two. So we're going to need, should we do two or three? Let's just do two. I think it'll be fine. And a toaster. Let's make a toaster. Ooh, I, we need a button. Just one. We just need the one button. No more, no less. Oh, we're gonna need a bucket of lava. Okay. Uh, of course we are. Okay. Let's put. Ah, getting messages, birthday messages. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, let's put that there. We'll put the sink. We'll put the. Let's actually move. Oh, some of these break by, uh, there we go. Yeah. And you can prep your stuff next to the stove. Okay. Uh, some of these break by axe and some of them break by, um, oh, stop. Ow. By pickaxe. I can never remember which is which. Which, which is which. Okay, so we have a toaster. Awesome. We can put that next to the stove. We're going to need all of the... We're going to need this. And... Do we have any of the other tools? We have this and the juicer. I think that's all we had. I put all of those eggs in here. Uh, we have mayo. That doesn't help. Uh, okay, so I guess we're gonna have to make the the stuff. And let's go ahead and make. Ooh, do we have milk? We don't have milk. Uh, do we have a cow? No. Uh, lasso. We have... What is it? It's a chicken. Yes, I know. Thank you. Okay. Um, we are going to have to buy a cow. 
egg and I believe it's some emeralds uh do we have we don't have oh we don't we're gonna have to make a market okay market We need to make a market. Uh, we also want to make a soy. Oh, well, no. Uh, how about just a press? One of these things. We need a couple of these guys. Okay. I like having those. I just do. All right, let's put them, I like putting this down and then this on top because they kind of look like they go together. It's, it's weird, I kind of like it, it looks neat. All right, so we need to buy a cow. This costs nine, which is, how about we just put in nine? I don't wanna buy a whole bunch of them. I just need one cow. Thank you. All right. So we're going to need the lasso. Hello. We're going to need a bucket. Thank you. We are going to need an anvil. Do I already have one? No. Uh, let's see. I don't have these already made. And we are going to need some blocks. It really doesn't matter what kind. Uh, okay. So what I think we'll do, uh, we need I don't know how big this needs to be, but we'll do that. Okay. We need to spawn our cow. Get the bucket of milk. Put them in the lasso. All right. So we need to go back to cooking for blockheads. We need our milk jar. Put that away. Put the milk jar at the bottom of that. Hello. Stop bouncing. Okay. Put a cow in there. And then, oh, don't look. We're going to... <laughs> now we've got a cow in a jar. So, you guys want to look at him? He's a cute little baby cow in a jar. So he's going to produce milk for us. If you look at Wayla, it says milk stored and it's going up, which is awesome. So we are going to break that, put it over here beside the refrigerator, and there we go. Now we have a source of milk, an ongoing source of milk, and we don't have to have a cow in the world, which is nice. All right, so... That is how you do the cow in a jar. We are going to need, okay, this pot, this, the pot, the skillet, and then the other things. But we also need two of these. Ooh, we don't have any of that stuff. Okay, yeah, there, take that. And I think it was just iron nuggets, so we'll just do that. Okay. We need two of these. Okay, so if we look up Pam, let's look for, there we go. We're going to need a cutting board. We are going to need a skillet. We are going to need the saucepan. We are going to need mortar and pestle. 
and we are going to need a mixing bowl. Boom! Now we have everything. Yay! So, the things that go inside of the oven, you just put over here. The rest of the stuff we want to add to the wall. We are going to put uh, we can put the knife there. We'll do the juicer, mortar and pestle, and mixing bowl. So now when we look into here, we can look. We can get fresh milk from the milk cow in a jar. We can get fresh water from the sink, which is nice. We can get heavy cream and salt. The salt comes from the water. The heavy cream comes from the uh, milk which is, it all blends together. It all works together. So now we can take stuff from our inventory. I'm gonna to try to grab a stack of anything food related. Uh, here we go, we'll grab all of this. Uh, potatoes, eggs. Um, let's see, apples, uh, we don't want any of the specialized eggs, corn kernels, we'll take half of those, uh, raw pork chops, mushrooms, where's the other mushrooms? Uh, we don't want him. Uh, raw beef. Uh, we don't need cake. Fish. Fish. Do we have, we have snowballs. We should grab the snowballs as well. Calamari, we've got some puffer fish, we've got some clownfish. Fish. Um I think that's gonna be it for that. Uh where would we should have snowballs. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna put all of this stuff in the fridge. Boom not really a boom sort of moment uh, and then we have all of these selections now you can sort them by hunger restored so we can make bacon and eggs nice uh, we can make cooked pork chops steak applesauce apple smoothie cooked chicken fruit salad uh, you just click on it I think you have to double click on it I'm not sure uh, but there you go. So that's how you easily get your food. Uh, we can add any of the Pam's uh, stuff. So we can, with the market, we can go ahead and buy any of the seeds, uh, any of the saplings. We can grow that stuff, which I think I'm going to do. I have, I don't need two wheat farms up here. Plus I still have half of this farm uh, available. So we can take this wheat farm out and uh, start growing some crops uh, for our food and then we'll start doing magical crops on the second layer uh, and then we can make a third layer if we need our babies our babies are all grown up Aww. all right so let's go night slime the elementium gives you nuggets which is okay it's better than nothing right uh, so, with this done, I can tear this down. Uh, nothing else is going to spawn on our grassy area. No more animals will spawn. I have too many animals uh, for any more animals to spawn. So, I don't need the grass here. Uh, we can repurpose the area for something else. Uh, but all of our chickens are done. Yay! Uh, so, I had a question about the rooster. The rooster is, if we're combining, uh, or what was the rooster for? Why would you need one? Uh, why do I highly recommend one? Well, if you are trying to breed two of them together and you get 
uh, one of the eggs or you breed them together with seeds and you get a baby, you don't have to keep breeding them together. If you have a rooster, uh, you can just go ahead and wait till the baby grows up. If it's a 10, 10, 10, it won't take very long at all. Um, and then give the rooster a couple seeds. He will breed with that chicken and uh, not while it's a baby, but he'll breed with it once it grows up and give you a copy of that uh, chicken. So it's an easier way to get multiples of the chicken, whichever chicken it is that you want at the time. So uh, if you want more than one of each, it's very highly, uh, it's a lot faster, I'll say that. And I wish I had one, but I never got one to spawn in the world. Um, so, yeah, all of our chickens are done. I don't have to do anything else with them. I am so happy about that. We now have uh, unlimited food, which is awesome. I think I'm going to pick out some stuff to uh, grow, probably onions, tomatoes, soy, uh, although the soy doesn't work the same way anymore so if I want to make um, I thought that was chicken pot pie uh, okay let's say this chicken sandwich right uh, there's different kinds of chicken oh well oh okay this is usually like uh, maybe I, maybe it does. Okay. You have to make it into something else before you can just use the raw tofu, apparently, like you used to before. So that's a little different that way. Um, I see a hamburger. You got raw tofu steaks. So you have to have other things. Uh, so it makes it a little bit harder to just use the tofu. So, um, but it's, it's, I don't know, uh, whether you want to do it or not. There's enough veggie stuff in here that you don't really have to make a meal with, uh, like you could do the stuffed pepper. That's three and a half, uh, bars and you don't need much. Uh, but yeah, so I think I'm just going to buy a few seeds, uh, grow them over here. Not too many. Uh, nothing special. I don't even have a, uh, a farming station over here. Also, I went ahead and I'll talk about this super duper quick. Uh, if you notice, it's fertilized dirt from hatchery. This is just regular farmland. So let me show you how I did that and it makes it so much better because you don't need, I don't believe you need a water source uh, for it. So if you make this fertilized sprayer, so we'll take a look at that. It's liquid fertilizer, button and some iron. The liquid fertilizer is just chicken manure block with a bucket of water, uh, which is just that. So it's super easy. You take that and then you, let's look up, I know I have some already. And then a bucket, I need a bucket of water. So what I can do is sit over here, we need to refill it. So I'll show you how to do that. Combine that with that, mix that. And there you go. That's how you uh, refill it. If you have a uh, bunch of buckets, you don't have to do each one separately. But I only grabbed one bucket. Silly me. Uh, but it only takes three buckets to fill it up. So the fertilized dirt is very beneficial. Um, but you can take dirt and surround it with the chicken manure. So it takes eight chicken manure to do one piece of dirt. Remember that. So it took us, um, what, 27 chicken manure to fill this bottle up. So let's go ahead and spray this down. We want to right click and uh, I know I'm 
instead of, oops. It's hard because it grows so fast. It helps your crops grow so much faster. Oh, and now we're empty. So probably because I couldn't see. I think I got all of these. Yeah. Uh, but your crops will grow. Oh, fine. Let's do that. Uh, your crops will grow so much faster. And look at how much dirt I did with 27 manure. So instead of um, only doing a very small fraction manually, you use the sprayer and it got almost the whole field, which is what uh, stack in 16, I think, is what is how many is here. Uh, and it didn't get those four, obviously. Um, but it'll keep it moist. So like these, oh, I do have water. Never mind. It doesn't keep it moist, um, but it does make it grow a lot faster. We can take a look. Uh, if I harvest all of this, this is how I was getting all my seeds and wheat. That's why I have all of those. Oh, I missed a couple spots in this field, which is fine. It was my secondary field, but look at that. It's already growing super fast. I already have another one to harvest. So it makes the crops grow a lot faster. And then you start adding on the um, the growth crystals and it makes it go a lot faster. Uh, but we don't need, oops, this second uh, field of wheat. Now I need to that again okay so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode uh, I just thought I would take it easy since it's my birthday I'm not doing anything special uh, or anything too uh, labor intensive <laughs> uh, uh, and so instead of taking the day off and not recording anything I thought I would do something a little more light uh, Apparently, it's super easy to break this stuff. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Uh, I should get the other ones. Yeah, I should get the other ones. <laughs>